Hey, besties and bride friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. This is awesome. So the Dusty Marathon is still going on. And today I have an amazing, like, it was so fun and it was so awesome because we did a total, total rundown of my wedding. So I'm being weird right now. I have Ivory Perkins of Ivory Perkins Beauty. So you more than likely have already heard her from episode three where we talked about well, we talked before my wedding and we talked about everything that you should be thinking about, that we should be thinking about before you have it. So this that you're listening to or that you're about to see right now is everything that happened while we were in Mexico. We went through as much as we could really come up with and remember about it. And it was really, really fun. It was great to go back down memory lane, of course. And then it was just really good because we were... We had our things that went on. We had the good stuff. We had the bad stuff. And we talked about it all in this interview. So this is actually part one. I had to split it into two because if you know from season three, we, a lot. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of information, but it's a whole lot of chatter that goes on. So hope that you guys enjoy it. You definitely want to get a little glass with you so you can listen and take some notes. This episode, uh, we talked about everything from dealing with roadblocks before we actually arrived to Mexico. Um, we actually went through a what did we do well, what did we not do so well, where could we have improved. We talked about how to get the most out of your wedding photos. There were some things that I wish I would have done, so we talked about that. There's some things that really went well. We talked about that, too. And we also talked about prepping your partner and your bride friends for your wedding photos, things that you should kind of just be giving them the heads up on and asking and making sure that they're good on. So I know that you're going to enjoy this. That's just what we covered in part one. So listen to this and then shoot over to part two because... We went through way more at that point, too. So, yes, I hope that you enjoy it. Ivory, you know that I love you. Thank you so very much for everything. I can't wait to get you on again. I know that we have more stuff to go through for season two. And speaking of season two, you guys know, if you're watching this, then you know that it's a Dusty Marathon. So, every single day, you are getting a brand new interview from season one of the Dusty Guide to Destination Weddings podcast. All to prepare for Dusty TV, which is coming January 2019, which will also be videos every single day. So, Monday through Thursday, it'll be you and me talking about tips, answering your questions to help you plan that destination wedding. And every single Friday, it'll be a brand new interview. It could be a Dusty Pro, it could be a Dusty Bride, but you won't know if you don't subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so that you are notified of a brand new episode as soon as they come up. And if you have any questions, they're always down there for you. There's always space for you down in the comments. All of the details of things that we talked about in our interview for part one and part two are waiting for you in Destiland. The link to that is in the description below. And if you're planning your wedding, which more than likely you are if you're sitting here watching this, let me know that you're planning it. Give me that hashtag, I'm a Desti, and tell me when you're getting married and where you're getting married so that I can continue to bring you tips that are relevant to you. You tell me you're getting married in Jamaica, I find a professional in Jamaica or a bride in Jamaica, and then we talk about that. And it just keeps going that way. So... If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Love you guys. I hope that you're enjoying your planning. I hope that you're enjoying this marathon. And I will see you tomorrow. Well, hello, Miss Ivory. How are you? Hey. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just wonderful. Miss Ivory oh. from Ivory Perkins Beauty is on today. I'm back. You back. <laughs> you back are. You are married. back. Welcome back. And I'm married and you were back and we did this. <laughs> we did it. You did it. Y'all did it. We did it together. <laughs> I said, I was married now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. Okay. So first, thank you so very much for coming back. Oh, my pleasure. 
I appreciate you. I appreciate you for everything that you've done in today. Um, We talked a little bit, but what we're going to do is just kind of do like a recap. Right. Talk about things that went on. Talk about things that shouldn't have gone on. Things that we (laughs) should have did, could have did, would have did. All of that good stuff. So I'm here for it. I was there for it. You were there for it. (laughs) That's good. Do it. And so, for anybody who doesn't know, then you should know by now. But the blog is live, blackdusty.com. Yeah. Um, I went through the full 200 day daily journal countdown, and it's officially at zero. I had yeah. part one and part two was zero. <laughs> zero was just too you were high. diligent. You were diligent. I was like, I wonder how many parts is ceremony day going to be. I, you know, <laughs> I tried to make it one, and I, it was impossible. So I did split it into the two parts. But um, so there's tons of details. But if no one is aware, Ivory Perkins, I brought her for my yeah. beauty. She yeah. did my hair. She did my makeup. Makeup for the ceremony. Yeah. Well, she, we did makeup every day. We did. We did makeup for every day. I had three events we did did Thursday. I had a welcome cocktail at our resort, which was Secrets Maroma Beach. Um, It was by Mm -hmm. the pool. And then on Friday, it was fun. That was the beginning of the fun. Yes, it was. (laughs) (laughs) And then Friday, we had uh, what we like to call a night on the town. We had a small group, so we shuttled everybody literally in shuttles to town and we gave everybody a dinner um, had kind of a white party yeah. cocktails dinner and then it turned into dancing in the middle of the street it did yeah and i have a picture of you with a leprechaun did you see me dance you know, with a leprechaun, leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, she danced with a leprechaun in mexico you know? listen like, yeah. I was the only one there single, I felt like. like <laughs> and he seems like he found partner. you. So I'm like, what is this picture? Yeah. Like the rainbow delivers. Listen. Right. So yeah, we had that. And then the big, big, big day, of course, which was Saturday. Day. And you saved the day in so many different ways. Oh, it was nice. Listen, it's part of my job description, I like to think. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So that's where you want to start for... Um, Let's do like the before, like even before we travel. I know that okay. I was supposed to do some things and I did not do what I was supposed to do. So first of all, we know I didn't know how I wanted my hair for yeah. any of the days. Yeah. And you made sure to reach out to me and you asked me and yeah. I did not know. Every time you pinned to the hair board we had, I was like, yes, she picked one. And I and was, was looking like, different. Uh, it's a veil suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I didn't pick my veils until the you week had, before. Yes, I didn't exactly. Even, my veils were hand made and custom they were, designed. They were literally the stitched by angels. Before they were. I heaven. can't wait. Yes, they really, really were. And I'm so excited about that. And I've actually had people reach out to ask me about them. So I'm like, hmm. I've had people ask me about them. How about Ooh. that? Yeah. Like, catch, we got that bride friend store popping soon. So we'll, hey, we'll, listen. we'll, we'll see what's going on with Dusty. Listen, man, hey. trend, trendsetter over there. <laughs> <laughs> trendsetter with a double veil. I know. But um, yeah, I just didn't know. Um, yeah. I think, was well, I let's like, say this. How, you, knew, how, yeah. you knew that you wanted effortless hair. I'll say that. So <clears throat> we talk about during the trial process, when we did your trial, um, you told me automatically you didn't want to wear your signature part down the middle. Like, you know, you were getting away from that. Right. So I, I was like, well, to too. you to did, that. you did. And that was the part of me that was like, you know what? Anytime a bright, well, a woman in general, anytime she's willing to let go of something that's considered her signature or like something she can just be comfortable in. Right. Then I know that she's willing to just let go of like anything we choose to do, whatever, is going to be okay because she's already let go of the part that makes her feel most secure. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you were like, I just wanted to be effortless. I think I want it pulled back. Those words to me says she's not asking for nothing. She's not going to want it down. Anytime somebody says I want it pulled back, they don't mean like out of their face. They usually mean like, uh, you know, up, up and, and out yeah. and out away. So I was like, okay, she doesn't want a part down the middle. Doesn't want it in her face sounds like we're going to be doing a ponytail a bun you know you start thinking of the hairstyles that'll come from that conversation and okay. sure enough so i didn't <laughs> indicate enough 
Yes, yeah, she did. Not. Okay, because yeah, thinking about it later on, I was like, yeah, I definitely was real raggedy with my communication. No, you weren't. Think, so, so luckily, we did have our trial, and yes. we were able to be one on one, and I was yeah. able to at that point have enough energy and sense to give you what I felt like I wanted because (laughs) fast forward two weeks before the wedding there was no it was hard for you to get in contact with me it just really was so yeah it was it was but you were good I mean like literally I've had brides that I've had to like hassle down like be I like to email right Right. we did a lot of emailing and then we would do text the emails to keep everything you know consistent Mm -hmm. but there are some brides when it's time to like decide on what we are going to do it's hope. It's it's just like thank God I know how to do stuff, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> and quickly like, at that rate. Yeah, and quickly like just just thank God that the 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 skill set is is there. I'm well practiced and like prepared. So y- you were definitely a breeze. Like I just felt like you weren't going to be. I don't like this ponytail. Let's take it down and curl it all up, and, you know, and right. swing it to the side. Like I just felt like you cared more about the accessories so the head the head um attire your veil that I knew that you weren't going to let your hair be like this big you know monsoon of like beach waves and curls and you wanted this like really pretty veil set I don't even know how, how would we describe that because it was just it was like a mix of like Greek goddess with the split middle <laughs> it had this like royal queen glam because oh, you had the yeah. rhinestone yeah, yeah. Had the stone, and, yeah and then the the custom comb piece in the back yeah. just like <laughs> i went in with that oh like... my gosh it's so funny thinking about it now okay guys so i will have photos in the show notes and at this point you probably should have seen you have to at least see the picture of me before we yeah, before photo. if you haven't seen me at all pause this and go to blackbesty.com yeah, go see her. she's cute <laughs> okay <laughs> go see her. She's not, cute. no yes but no <laughs> and just have a look because you're going to just feel lost if you, and if you're driving don't yeah. i don't recommend that for you but just know that just make sure that you check it out for reference just to know what we're talking about yeah. um but what i had was i'll try my best to describe it was a rose gold headpiece that had a mm-hmm. few statement stones like into it so it was like mm-hmm. a little bit but not in a crazy way like it had a small like little rosettes almost that yeah. were stoned and one was like in the middle of my forehead and then it was like two on the side but they mm-hmm. were kind of more dainty nothing kind of crazy crazy but I had this comb that went with yeah. it like a that was big and it was yeah. a state that said it all was like three yeah. inches maybe yeah and that went into the back because I wanted people to when I walked yeah. to be able to see that part so I had my bun and that went into the back yeah but I never wanted one veil. I no. could not do one veil. I didn't mm-hmm. want the little blusher. I wanted something different. I wanted something I'd never seen before. And I Googled it, Googled it. Yeah. And if someone's done it before, no shade to you. No yeah. disrespect. Reach out to me. Let me know that it does exist. But I looked everywhere. Yes. And I it's- even reached out to actual veil makers and no one had seen it. And a lot of people were like, you can't do that. Or no, or that doesn't make sense. Or no, yeah. it won't look right. <laughs> so I found... Yes. A woman. I found two women <laughs> um, at the beautiful Clarissa Boutique, and I sat with them and told them what I wanted. I had my fabric, and oh, and they're pink. I had pink veils. So yes. I had the rose gold, <laughs> but then I had like a light You're like, pink. leaving out the best part. Yeah, the light, <laughs> two pink veils. Two pink and veils. we sat, and we custom did the combs. We custom cut, mm-hmm. and... Yeah, they ended up going, hey, you should, like, be a veil designer. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> kind of funny. Like, we just, ha, ha, laughed about it. Because it was, like, every single piece of it, like, the shape of it, the ending of it, the taper, yeah. everything that I wanted, they did for me. It wasn't right. We brought it back. They fixed it quickly. So, um, anyway. Yeah, they were super quick because <clears throat> we were, we had been talking veils and hairstyles. That was, like, one of those. Is that me or you? It's me. Okay. We had been talking um, hairstyles. And veils, and so we hadn't because we hadn't secured a you know 
a look on either side of the fence. I was just really excited to see wow. what you were going to pick. And then randomly I get a text and I'm like, <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, we did it. some Don't prototypes with white. We did some prototypes with their, with their standards, with the white and, um, yeah, fast forward and it worked. It did. It ended up working out beautifully. Two I had two long cathedral pink veils yeah. and they were on the right and on the left side of my head. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's what we decided on. That's what I decided on and, and, it, was and cute. it happened and I'm happy with it and I can't wait to see the photos to see just how great it was because yeah. Yeah. it was really nice. It was really cute. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so that's the that's to answer that. Yeah. To, to, to bring you up to know what we're referring to. We're talking about the veil. Yeah, yeah. So I did not know how I wanted my hair. I had no idea. Well, I, I did know. I knew I didn't want a middle part. I knew I didn't want a structured bun too. I knew that. I knew I wanted yeah. it to kind of just look thrown in and kind of be a little messy, yeah. not like in a, you know. It's like easier effort- to know you what you that? Want. You said like an effort- effortless. Effortless. Yeah. yeah. Effortless bun. Um, I think it's easier if you know what you don't want than to try to describe what you do want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just say, look, I, I'm, I'm not going to wear my part. I don't want it down in my face. Um, it's going to be hot at my destination. So I prefer, like, maybe for the ceremony we're down and then, like, up for the reception so I don't be sweat. Like, if you know what you don't want, then the professional can sit back and say, okay, she's pretty much describing a ponytail. You know what I mean? Like, in, in its most glam way when you get it, but, like, for the the details of it, it, it it's easier for you to just pick apart something than to try to pull it together visually and then use your Pinterest board to show. Right. Okay. Inspiration. So what tips would you offer to a Desti who is going to have her first trial? We already went through this a little we bit. We did. But... Oh, oh, fun fact. Okay. It popped up on my Facebook. Today is our one year anniversary from your bridal trial. The photo from your trial popped up in my Facebook anniversaries today. Are you yes. serious? Yes. <laughs> yes, I should share it. <laughs> it popped up today as our uh, like what? one year. You know how it says like Facebook? <gasps> yes, Asia? look, my, okay, wait. My phone does the, that's See? on this day. On this <laughs> This is crazy. We had our trial today. A year oh, we ago. did. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So wait, I think the so trial fun. might have been. Was it the day before? I don't know. Well, Actually. today is a is a Tuesday, so it it was on a Sunday. I don't so know yeah, day works. before. Yeah, so this is the day that I actually was able to go through the photos and look at them and like them and what enjoy we did. them. So, yay! yes. <laughs> and I was, oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's yes, I that is <laughs> wild. Okay, see, see. Look at that. What is, what is, look at that universe. <laughs> guys, yeah, guys, we did not plan this, but. No, we didn't. No, as you can tell. Here so, we are. <laughs> <laughs> love that <laughs> So, what advice yeah. Can you give to, and I'm not going to go as far back as the trial because we did cover that stuff in episode three. Yes. So we're going to kind of fast forward a bit. Um, if you haven't heard episode three, go back there because we talked about everything after the trial and picking and things to think yeah. about and all that. Decision stuff. making. Like the general things. We're going to get a little more specific closer to your day of um, today. So yes. what... If I have to ask this question one more time and to get it out the right <laughs> way. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I'm thinking I'm excited. Okay. So, yeah. What advice would you give when communicating with your beauty pro, like, beforehand? Like, when it's closer. Closer to your crunch time. So, closer to your crunch time. So, <clears throat> you should definitely... So, just one thing that I didn't say, I don't think I said in episode three about your trial is that right after you're done, like how you did, you should be taking your own photos and making your own notes. So when we get closer to the wedding, you can pull that back out as a reference for what I said was okay a couple of months ago. Right. And am I still in this position now that I've seen that I want a pink veil or, you know, things have changed in my process. Is this I'm the sorry. same? I'm having no. a moment right now. This is so good. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> because you know why? It's an emotional process because we're going back to like oh. 
those feelings, how oh, I felt man. when that happened. But yeah, just look, come back to that photo and say, is this, is this what I want? Maybe you tried a new hairstyle, new hair color, mm-hmm. cut or something. Do I even look the same from when I had my trial? And then mm-hmm. have a conversation with your beauty professional. And she should be open or he should be open to speaking with you. Let's just say you, you book that person a year out. You should be having kind of complete access to them at least four months prior to the wedding. Like mm-hmm. you should be able to schedule, hey, can we have a phone call on Wednesday? Want to keep you up to date? Change my idea about my veil or change my, my skin is breaking out. I have some discoloration. Like you should be very much starting to now chime in and they should be checking in on you to be honest. Like, right. hey, how are you? Are you drinking enough water? <laughs> Did you need anything from me? Um And I think the questions that you should now have are, um, are you ready for travel? You know, are they ready? Do they have their things in place? Is everything set? The flight and all that stuff with you. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, So you did make me feel very comfortable to know, like, you don't travel. Like, your check bag is a completely different, it's not your makeup. You know what I mean? Just to kind of keep me feeling good. Yeah. 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 And those are the questions. I mean, those are just the questions that you should be, you know, asking um, about check bags and, you know, are they going to, so perfect example. I knew coming to you that I would have time to do your makeup before you had the welcoming event. Right. Right. Yeah. So I knew that coming off the plane, I couldn't be waiting at a carousel hoping that my makeup bag, you know, got here and came in one piece. So I, I felt most comfortable as I always do, having it right on my back as a backpack. And they can figure out the suitcase situation when I get there. Yeah. In fact, when I arrived to the resort, they took my bag and was like, we'll take it to your room. She's in this room. And, you know, just go ahead and head on over. So that's, that's one thing that you should definitely be asking your beauty professional is that every makeup artist and hairstylist has their own way of traveling. We have restrictions with TSA, how we can bring things over. So it should very much be a... Or you should, they should be doing these type of things anyway. But if you're working with somebody and it's their first time, but you feel trustworthy in them, just have that conversation back and forth with time, making sure that you are on schedule with them. Because I arrived a little bit late, but you knew, you know, coming in that like, this is what time I'm supposed to be here. Right. And well, technically, you did arrive late according to, you know, your flight because you were going to get in earlier. And everybody, yeah. everybody had flight problems. Yeah. Um, it was cray cray It was Miami. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was cray. Yeah. Just, yeah. It was just wild. Florida, even New York. It was just bad. It was crazy. Yeah. But talking about just rolling with the punches, I ended up needing you to come earlier because mm-hmm. we had weather issues. So my yeah. original pre-wedding photo shoot was supposed to be Wednesday. Yes. And you were arriving Thursday. You were going to do my makeup before the welcome event. But on Wednesday, we went, we started to go, like we on our way traveling to meet in town to have these photos that I just, oh, I want them in town and they're going to be great. A storm went like Mm -hmm. the whole city apart for a moment. It was just like a crazy storm that existed for exactly like two hours while we met. So we couldn't do it then. And they said, we'll just come tomorrow. What time can you do it? And I'm like, well, we have a lot going on tomorrow. We are yeah. Friends. So they were like, oh, we'll just come before your welcome event. And in my mind, I'm like, makeup, makeup, makeup. Yes. No, no, no. So it just ended up working out wonderfully where for you, technically you were late. But you would have been definitely on time had I yeah. not added a full hour and a half. Well, though, kind of two hours, I think. because It, it yeah. just worked, though. Oh, it worked beautifully. Yeah. But how does that, like, I think that's, so, that's like, had, the beautiful thing. But on your side, like, for me, it was like, yay. It was wonderful. And yeah. I just dropped the last podcast episode. Um, and I was talking about, like, yeah, bring your own pro like bring your beauty pro because she was you know she just did what i needed her to do and she was always there for me and it was great but on the opposite side like how was that as the professional so no professional wants to be late you know what i mean especially when it's out of your control like if you're in a car you just don't mind going 10 over the speed limit like i'm gonna get to her but when you're sitting on the tarmac and you're just like (laughs) Get this plane. Come on. Listen, I don't want your apology. I want your takeoff. 
I have a bride to slay. <laughs> so we, I think it wasn't until we pulled up to the resort that my shuttle pulled up to the resort that I was just like, bet I got flats on going to get to her, you know, get there and getting to you, you were just calm. And now that I know the backstory of like, you know, why you were calm and not calm in a sense of like, not freaking out of this timeline that you now have, but yeah. like calm in a sense that you weren't like, Oh my God, what took you so long? What, you know, like you were understanding that. Yeah. You were doing me a she's favor. Not, she's, she's not, like, she's she's not, not twirling around. Yeah. She's not twirling around her thumbs being, you know, cute on a plane trying to like move slow. Like right. she's, she's here, you know? So I felt good that you were just like at ease and then just jump right into it. What do you need from, me? you know, like, that's the fun part to me. So ceremony was planned. That's what we had the trial for. Right. Right. So we didn't plan out the looks that you wanted to do for the night on the town or not. the uh, welcome party. Right. So to have you in a um, calm state to be like, this is what I want. And then for me to say, well, are you sure? <laughs> and I say, yeah. And then I'm not. <laughs> I'm still not sure after you. Yes. It's, this is what I want. It's one of those things that I will say that re working in retail in my early years prepared me for, you know, the indecisive shopper that's there for one color lipstick, but sees another color and wants to, like, it just helps. I pulled those skills to kind of like pull you back into what we need. I think I asked, I was like, skin or eyeshadow? Like, what do right. you, what do you no, want? Which one, is, which one do you want more of? Which more? And you said, definitely skin. And I was like. Duh. But I needed you to understand, you know, if you say that and we don't get time to do eyeshadow, then you would understand because you said it. Right. That my my complexion needed to be popping more than my. It was. It was really good. It, uh, you yeah. just have good skin anyway. So it was a, a good makeup weekend for me. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. It, it was nice to me for the trip. Yeah. It was, it was really yeah, good. So to, okay. to, to do that, well, you want to go to, um, well, I guess, I so, oh, it was so, so what we did decide to do, it, it was effortless, but I will add that because of, we were on that time crunch, we ended up mm. having to do the foundation instead yes, of the airbrush. airbrush. Yeah. And we were talking, yeah. you know, I was really excited about the airbrush, but I just plain didn't have time for that because I had to push up the makeup yeah. a good two Early. hours ahead of time. We were supposed to, what, our vent, see, he's going to get me because I don't know what time nothing started. But <laughs> I think it was six. Look, I'm going to save the day. I think it was six. That sounds right. That sounds right. It was, it was before six. midnight, so. Yeah, before midnight. It was before, <laughs> <laughs> it was before sunset. <laughs> And I was supposed to get my makeup done an hour before, and then it turned into us doing our pre-wedding yeah. photo shoot that during that hour, so we ended yeah. up having to push it forward. So because we didn't have that time, we went ahead and did foundation. Yeah, we did traditional makeup. We, and then we just crossed our fingers and our toes and said, yeah. hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it is, what it is. <laughs> because... but, but look, you were prepped. So what I will tell you is that during the... So I knew in my mind that airbrush wasn't going to happen, right? right. Um, but because I was pre a prepared packing beauty pro, like I brought traditional makeup and I brought my airbrush. And <clears throat> the reason for that is just because you never know if the airbrush compressor is an electrical thing. So in case mm -hmm. anything happened electricity-wise, we still had a way to get you cute, you know, the same way I would anybody else without that doesn't, you know, want airbrush makeup. Right. So I still was able to prep you. And yeah, so you that me with, what was that spray? Um, is that a, we, is that is that a secret? I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was some good shit, y'all. I don't know what it was. But as soon as you yeah. put it on my face, it was like a frozen thing, but not like frozen. But it was yes. kind of like a it's a sealer, what we call in okay. the theater world. So mm. it's a the, a theater product. So it's not even a beauty over the counter product is very much a broad on Broadway theatrical makeup uh setting spray that I use and then I use that skin prep that we talked about in episode three uh the Miron skin skin prep right to um combat the oil from underneath and uh -huh. we just went in like yeah. pray that it would like <laughs> just be okay <laughs> 
<laughs> it was right. one of those things. You guys, okay, so to, to understand, like, it was very much hot. Like, yeah, hot is an understatement. It's very it much was, understating. Close your eyes, put yourself <laughs> in the oven. Yes, and, and turn then it on 400. <laughs> let's broil it. Let's go ahead and put that thing on broil. <laughs> and then <laughs> sit there. Yeah. Like, for real, for like, an hour. It was, like, it was really, it was really hot. It was so hot. I was like, you know. And, the, and my the, photo shoot was outdoors. It was on the beach. Yeah. And the thing we did not know, we thought we were just going to walk <laughs> around and kind of do some cute. little cute photos and little keys. No. And our wonderful photographers are super creative. So they're like, okay, this is what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna count to three and you're gonna run as fast as you can and die race <laughs> and first of all he, I I mean I didn't want to be beat like I wanted <laughs> yes. I completely forgot that I had makeup on y'all and I was just like he's fast but he might not be running as fast as he like can and <laughs> I'm pretty fast I might they be were. able to actually like I just completely lost my mind and just decided to run full on like I thought I was I mean, you were I thought I photos. had a talent. You know, it was some Olympic like, stuff that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I was look, Ojo for the minute. effort that was put into it. The photos are bomb. Like, thank you. I'm I'm excited. They just they just came out. Like they came out yesterday, which is funny because I freaked out. Yeah, but, but so I we knew we didn't know just how much activity was going to happen. But I think deep down inside we knew that I do the most, and it's and I sweat easily anyway. So we knew it was going to be me doing yeah, too much at some point. Yeah. And it needed to last me through that, and then also through and the our party event right yeah afterwards. So. Yeah, like when you came back from off the beach, I was like, <laughs> like the gadget eyes, like, <laughs> looking all over the place. But I know I gave you a puff, and I know like, uh, and so that's another thing. I will say this: when you are hiring um, a Desti Pro to come with you. I mean, they can't run back home. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same token, they're not on vacation, if that makes sense. You know, their off time is their off time. But when they're on schedule for you, it very much should be an interaction kind of thing. And so, you know, we had a small talk. I was like, did everything hold up? And we talked about, like, the makeup kind of melting a little bit around the edges. And there was like... Oh, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, like, I was no. freaking out for a moment. Yo, I'm sure and we I both, you probably too. weren't. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, I knew if we were airbrushed, this would not be a problem. I did not come all this way for like, that's my thing, humidity proof, tear proof makeup. And for you to come and say, it was like a little runny. I'm like, oh. Yeah, right around my edges. But that's the, the, that's the sweat around the brow thing. And I, yeah. honestly, it wouldn't have happened if I wouldn't have run, um, well, if I wouldn't have been running. But, I like to have... You prepped for that, though. I think, for real, for real, if we were to airbrush, it wouldn't have been um, an issue to to right. be frank about it. Just because I know that I use a cream foundation um, so I can use just a little bit where I needed it. But, you know, when we're black brides, <laughs> you know, you have that, like, tan going on. And then you have, like, discoloration in the skin. Not in a bad way, but just to bring everything together. Right. Um, airbrushing would have been one of those things that just would have ensured you could have, like, sweated it really out. Like, really go. Because on ceremony day, we'll talk about that later. We will. <laughs> we'll talk when about I that had, later. Yeah, there was nothing at all. Yeah, yeah there was yeah, no that problem. Was, that, was, that was perfect there. So, I will rewind. Like, the one thing I will say um, for you guys, when you are... If you have the chance to take some sort of photos or just even if we would have taken photos, just make sure that your partner is also like a part of your team. If you don't have your Dusty Pro with you, I'm your Dusty Pro. If you don't have your Dusty Beauty Pro with you, still make sure that you have friends who are real and that your, I don't want to say your man because whoever it is, your partner is aware as well. And I say Mm -hmm. that because I was not aware that my, you know, face was melting a little bit, you know, at my brow or at my hairline. And we're in the middle of taking photos and my now husband. Yeah. <laughs> but he like he got this weird look on his face and he was kind of just looking at me. And he's like looking not in my face though. He's looking at my hairline. Like he's looking <laughs> at my forehead and I'm like, "What are you looking at?" And he's like, "I don't know. It's just a little like I don't Guys know how cute. to tell you. Little, you know, it was like I don't really know yes. how to tell you that you're just fucked up up there. Like, <laughs> but it's your little something's going you on. Got, yeah, something you might you need a mirror. 
He and we're nowhere, to say you're something. nowhere near bathroom. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, stop, like stop the presses. Ivory was not there because she, she yeah. wasn't on at that time. She wasn't to be on at that moment. Yeah. So we, you know, pulled out our phones and hit like that little selfie portion. And I was yes. able to see and we rubbed, oh rubbed, God. rubbed and got it together enough. But our photographer loved them. And the reality is, I'm sure him in his mind, he was just like, I'll just fix that later. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. And I don't, and his whole thing was for us to be comfortable. This was like a good test run for us to become comfortable taking yeah. photos. So the last thing he wants to do is point out something and go, oh, you need to fix that. Yeah. So, but still, if anyone sees something, or just beforehand, just go, hey, y'all, like for real, for real, don't have me looking crazy out in these streets. So, or out yeah. on the beach. Don't have me looking yeah, crazy out here on this beach. beach. <laughs> okay. Or wherever you are. Yeah. Hey, friends, don't let friends look crazy, especially yes. on their photos that you were paying a pretty for. penny for. Yeah. Even if Most you're not definitely. paying a pretty penny for them, because we did have friends who had excellent cameras, be it their cell phone yes. or like the real pro pros. Yeah. They were all up in my grill. Great photos. I love them. But luckily, my makeup was good. Yeah. And then, like, I have friends. I got one friend who braids hair, yes. so she she was, like, fixing my ponytail and braiding yes. me down a little bit. <laughs> yes. And then I got yes. Ivory on the side going, hey. Yes. Because you're just, in, like, I was seriously barefoot drinking and just wanting to, ha- and happy to see everyone. So I'm just you excited. You were in island mode. When they said, you know, island time, island mode, that was Yeah, I was good. Sure. Hey, I'm here. I made it. Yes. These last two weeks were crazy. <laughs> so in my mind, I was just, like, Oh, well, I wasn't even thinking about it. I I obsessed enough about details ahead of time. But just still make sure that you definitely talk to your partner and go, hey, taking these photos. So if something doesn't look like me, like normal me, like I would not be okay with this. Mm -hmm. Or if you're not okay with this or whatever, hey, stop. Stop and tell me. And tell me. They're your photos. So guess what? Yep. Stop. Yep. Pause for together. a moment. Yes. <laughs> I got you for whatever number of hours. So yes, you know let I mean? me fix this. Yeah. One thing crazy going on. And we touched on that a little bit um, in episode three when you were talking about the uh, the bride who had yes, like, the tissue, the tissue, yeah, tissue under pieces her eye. stuck under her eye. So. And nobody said nothing. I'm right. Like- yeah. Said nothing to her. So yeah. So so just make sure that you have people on your team and don't just assume that they're gonna do it. Just yeah. actually verbalize and go, hey, friend. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you are a bride friend and you let me know that yeah. the shit's not okay. Okay, yeah. I want, I'm asking you to now. I'm not going to think you're a hater. I'm not going to yes. get offended. <laughs> I'm not going to freak out because you're trying to rain on my parade yes. because I'm asking you to do that. To do me. it. I'm asking so, yeah. you to do it. And if it. you don't, and I see that you're sitting next to me in this picture, <laughs> Allowing it and to I'm happen. looking crazy, yeah. we are no longer friends I when I get back. Okay. <laughs> Not your friend no more. Not we your are, friend. Yeah. Done. Friendship <laughs> so, contract terminated. Right. So yeah, so that was that. Um, yeah. That, that was that really piece. Um, and then the event went wonderfully. We had a great time. Yeah. Um, yeah, the puff really was nice. beautiful. You kept me with little puffs. So if I ever needed another puff, you got me. Yeah. That. So uh, I think that that went good. Is there anything that we need to cover else about no. that day? Mm-mm. That's funny. I okay. think it, re- it went really well. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we fast forward to Friday and Friday. Now, the way that you communicated with me, obviously we have a pretty personal relationship. Yeah. But you were extremely professional. Like you were just... Of hey. course. I mean, of course you were. <laughs> of course, <laughs> but it was like, like you reached out like, hey, you know, what is it that you need from me? Well, even before you left me on Thursday, it was like, hey, what yeah. do you need from me tomorrow? Tomorrow. And right. then tomorrow morning you still reached out and said, Hey, yeah. you know, are we still on? You know, what's what? What's happening? Yeah. And then of course again, me with my schedule. I was I was I was I was on vacation time. Yeah, you and listen. <laughs> You should be. You spent all this time planning. And mind you, you're planning and blogging and doing bride friends, recording podcasts, interviewing. Your brain was spent. So me asking the night before and the morning of is that pocket window when we both didn't talk in case something else came up. Came up. Yeah, I just felt like. This beach looks tempting. I know I we said <laughs> we don't have to do makeup until 2 p.m. I'm up at 8. Right. I have enough time, but that's not my priority. My priority is, does my bride have something different going on? You know, is there something that 
happened? Is there something that changed overnight? I mean, could have been anything right. after we said goodnight, you know? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was a huge value point for me. Um, so, and I think just doing that, if you guys just make sure that you communicate. Yeah. Well, to go back to, good place. to go back to what we were talking about episode three too, is that when you're selecting your beauty Destiny pro, it has to be somebody that you're cool with. Not necessarily like buddy, buddy, bestie, forget the business part of it, but she has to in some way have bride friend tendencies as well. You right. know what I mean? Like yeah. have, you have to your feel back. comfortable to communicate with them, I think, because I don't want to, I was very comfortable and yeah. I knew that I could communicate what I needed instead of, you know, feeling uncomfortable or having somebody yeah. who, cause you like, I've dealt with people who, you know, they're providing you a service and they acting like they're doing you a favor at the same time. Yeah. It's kind of like a, so now in my mind, you know, I might be sipping that tea and really agreeing mm-hmm. and going, hmm, yeah, they are doing me a favor. So, yeah. hey, you know, actually, yeah, I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry yeah. to do this to you, but, no. but the, real, the beauty is like when you, the beauty is when you decide, <laughs> you know, to like me deciding to bring you and yeah. let me know that I'm going to need you to make sure I look great on these days yes. means that I I'm going to need, need, you. need you to make me look great <laughs> on these days. Like right, uh, so. the job description is so plain and clear. Like it is what it is. And I think that going in, like I said, we didn't have a game plan for what you look like, but we had a schedule. We knew what time we wanted makeup to start. And we knew what time, you know, that following event time was, we had that in place. Right. And that was my blueprint. I just was like, okay, I need to call her like two hours, three hours beforehand, you know, and make sure see if she needs something. Yeah. And yeah. even and even um, when you told me no, like, no, I'm good. Everything's cool. You know, I want you to have some time, like, have a good time. And then, when, well, the service, you know, was kind of, like, crazy for right. us to, like, communicate on the beach. But when I got your message, it was like, hey. And I was like, oh, let's wrap this up. No, thank you. I won't have another drink. You know, like, <laughs> it, was, it was one of those things where I just was like, my bride needs me. Yeah, Let's I was go, like, hey, I know, know I said this, but I need you a little bit sooner. And then Is can you enough? come? Because you ended up coming to um, we went to go check, check me into my bridal suite. Yeah, actually. bridal suite. We did go to do that. Um, that was actually fun, though. I mean, like... Yeah, that was a little... That was, it was an adventure. <laughs> it was an adventure, but it was fun. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, in my mind, I was like, we're not leaving off the resort until, you know, ceremony. And right. then when we go out for the night Friday, on the town. Right. So to, like, get a chance to... Just, you know, be with you and, like, spend that time and peruse the city and, like, get there and have that experience. It was still a good time I had in yeah, the city. I, didn't even, I was so, you know, in the zone. I didn't you even, I, I lost, I lost sight of that for sure. So, I guess that makes sense. But, yeah, so. A good time. So, we went to the bridal suite. Yeah, so, but the best ways, I guess I want to just rewind, with communicating, I think. For there's there was really three ways for us to communicate. So we had the actual phone to phone, like in the resort, you could call yeah. each other back and forth. But that would just mean that you would have to be in the resort. In the room, room yeah. Which <laughs> doesn't nobody, <happen>. nobody. <laughs> so, but it was free just in case yes. you ain't doing nothing. So that was that. And then we also had, of course, like our regular text messaging, which yes. would very and for me Mexico was really great like I that specific yeah. trip I had no real problems and then WhatsApp is yeah. another thing I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it but it's WhatsApp W-H-A-T-S-A-P-P and it's used all over the place it's kind of pretty popular and I think WhatsApp was bought by Facebook is that right I I'm think pretty sure they so. were bought by Facebook a couple years so. ago Facebook's so they're doing up. more I know but they're, <laughs> and they actually do video now I didn't know that they have like a video yeah a video chat um option now right but for me WhatsApp was body I yeah. was having a problem with it it, was. it just wasn't working that wonderfully so I think just having all of those options to like just exploring everything and if there's yeah. anything else that you guys are aware of definitely let us know of course like facetime would have been would have worked out nicely yeah. skype works too yeah so just make sure you have all of your communication points with your pro so yeah, and more than and with one. your friends yeah and more than one in case something's yeah. not working like i would send to whoever like i would send a whatsapp 
mm-hmm. if they're part of WhatsApp, and then I will send a regular text message to you, and yeah. something is going to work. Like, yeah. one something of them has to whichever work. Whichever one works out better, yeah. then that's the one that you should use. But just know that there's other options. Don't just go, oh, my phone service isn't good, Yeah. so I'm screwed. Um, yeah. And then also, before you leave, make sure, like, before you leave your destination, or before you leave the States, if that's what, what your wedding requires you to do, call your provider because Sprint yeah. ended up, I called them and I was able to get like free international everything Yeah, and specific to Mexico, which kind of ended up strengthening my signal. So mm-hmm. for me, mine ended up boosting quite nicely and I paid nothing extra. I had no roaming charges. Yeah. I worked, it worked just like I was at home. Yep. Same thing happened with me with uh, T-Mobile. I have T-Mobile and a matter of fact, funny thing, when I got off the plane and like took my phone out of airplane mode, mm-hmm. T-Mobile sent me a text oh, to let me know. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine too. It said, welcome to Mexico. And this is I was this like, is yes, this. y'all on it. <laughs> yeah, it was really great though. So just make sure that you do that ahead of time because your phone doesn't always know and it, your phone doesn't your phone doesn't know anything actually yeah. but you you know they don't always know what's what and you could still potentially have some problems yeah, so just issues. think about that especially yeah that's not specific yeah. to pros but and then tell your friends and tell everyone else to make sure yeah. they do that too everybody um, can get in contact right um, cuz we were able to communicate yeah. quite wonderfully um yeah. which no problem. was yeah due to that so we fast forward we did the bridal suite yeah. Um, we checked me in and I was running late as yeah. usual. I didn't <laughs> feel late. Quite though. usual to me. I didn't feel, I didn't late, feel late until I looked at the camera. Like, oh, <laughs> we are late. No, we didn't even know we were late. We didn't know we were Doug late. Doug called. We just, yeah. He called me and was like, hey, what's going on? What's going like, on, you guys? Are you guys on the way back yet? And I'm like, we just got here. Like, we just. We literally God, just hung just my dress up. Got there. I don't yeah. even think we checked out the digs yet. Like, no, we didn't. What, what the yeah. setup looked like. We didn't at all. So anyway, we had to, again, hit that beauty button. And you brought your yeah. pack My kit with me. Yeah. That was such a... Okay, so I knew... So just a little bit of rewinding. I was taking the morning to be on the beach. But like we said about the service happening... Um, Omi sent me messages on WhatsApp and she texted me my regular text. So when I got within service range, everything just started buzzing off. But, you know, sometimes text messages, when you get them, it just gives you the time that it came in and not the time that it was actually sent. sent, Right. Yeah. So I was kind of like, I know this. I know she didn't just send me these messages right now. Like, oh, my God, let me call her. So when you said we need to go, you know, check in to the bridal suite. Something just said, bring your makeup. Like, I don't even, it wasn't my plan to leave my makeup there the night before anything. Something was just like, bring, bring your makeup. And I just was like, I mean, we're coming back to the resort anyway. So, you know, it can't hurt just to bring it just in case. Just to have it. And that's something that when you're interviewing your beauty pro, you should very much be getting like, she's going to be prepared at all costs, you know, I think even if I didn't bring your makeup kit and as late as we were running, I would have already had, my dress was already ironed and hanging up in my room prior to just me just being that type of have your stuff ready at right. night kind of thing. So I think I could have easily ran to my room, grabbed my dress and still had an opportunity to do your makeup, whether it had been on your shuttle, Ooh, you know, going. About that. Yeah. Or, I mean, when you work with celebrities, they make you do the weird Well, the crazy thing, you <laughs> ended up doing your makeup in the ah, shuttle your on the wedding shuttle. day. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway. Listen, I yes. knew. So, uh, yeah. No so that, okay, so. So that worked out just for me just being, like, prepared. It didn't make sense to be like, leave your kit here. Like, don't even try to take it back to the room and all that. Yeah, nonsense. I'm the reason for the kit, so you could leave yeah, it. So, it would you, right there. Is it normal for beauty pros to have like that? Like you have like a very compact bag. You have levels to your bags, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I know that like when we first did the trial, I was in your hometown. So yeah. you had like the chair that popped yeah, out the and it had suitcase. a little extra thing. You had a suitcase. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, there we go. I'm like she about to do it. And you were yeah. able to do the exact same thing, if not more, yeah. from a backpack yes. that you brought with you from Mexico. In Mexico. Like the Barney bag. Yeah. <laughs> like so. Mary Poppins style. Well, okay, so what happens is, and again, that interview process with your uh, 
Beauty Pro is going to be, um, we talked about how many, who I was doing makeup for, right? Right. And how many days and things like that. So I just planned my kit according to what the schedule was. So when I blocked, when we secured everything, I already knew you can take your kit apart and pack it how you are going to pack it for that weekend because nobody else you know, matters and nothing else matters. Um, and I pulled out our trial photos. I pulled out, because I took pictures of what I use and of your face with the notes that I was keeping for when we talked about like lashes and we talked about, you know, the, your inner corner wanting that to sparkle. Like I had mm-hmm. notes with all of those things and I just packed the kit the way it needed to be you know, packed for me to work out of it. So I, I already knew in my head, I'm not going to lay all of this stuff out. Like how you see on Instagram, like the whole spread. Right. And like, I knew I was going to be working from my kit cause we're on the go. And that's one thing about destination weddings is that while you're in the States or wherever your home location is, and you're planning these things, it's all an idea and an imagination until you get there in that moment yes, you know and seriously. so yeah it's it's all talk until we get there it's serious talk don't get me wrong but it's it's like it's not official talk until I'm in your you know resort room and we're like you want skin or eyeshadow <laughs> you know like, <laughs> right what, what's important to you and for me to be able to pull that you would have been straight up eye rolling and blown on the inside with me if I had right. to like, like pull all these preparation like and... for real is she serious <laughs> yeah. right now yeah and you're like Need to be on the beach. Here we go. Exactly. Why don't you holler at me once you're ready? Like, <laughs> yes. Like, I could be, like you said, on the beach. Can yeah, I get a margarita? Like, what's happening right now? Yeah, yeah. order some food. No, <laughs> I didn't order have time service? for that. Yeah. It's like, no. <laughs> Unzip my backpack, pull out this package, pull out that package, and just work. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was easy for me to pack in my backpack. Your backpack counts as a carry-on. So my makeup was, you know, it just made sense to have you set up in the way that I needed you. I didn't bring extra foundations. I don't need, you know, all this stuff. I just need what works for you. I had you send me pictures of um, your guests that were getting their makeup done so I can, like, incorporate that into the kit. Right. But that was it. I mean, I really, I just really came prepared. I mean, I mean, I've been a makeup artist for 12 years, so, you know, the 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 code in the makeup streets is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. ready. And so that's kind of like the model that I followed by. But ceremony was a little different for me. I will say that because I left my kid. Okay, so I did your makeup for Night on the Town. Right. And then we booked it out. I don't even think I like closed up everything, moved everything out the way, cleaned my little, you know, station up. I think we kind of like. Pushed it all in the bag. You put it in, yeah, you just threw it in the bag and put it in my, (laughs) in in your room. Right. So coming back the next day for ceremony, I did have to like undo that and like put it, you know, together. And then I remember after, um, doing, uh, Alicia's makeup, uh, swiping the table clean and like, let me start over, you know, like Uh, lay it all out. Cause the photographer, we were expecting the photographer to come and I didn't want it to look a hot mess right in your like that's not my style i can't can't get yeah, down can't like get, that yeah i have nobody yeah this is yeah. not how i usually work so i will not be photographed in this yes no <laughs> way i was like not happening i had already did the whole week without any makeup like i was just like girl it's too hot like <laughs> let's just make sure that we're on time for what we have to do but i knew like ceremony i, I just never go bare face you know ceremony you're taking pictures with the bride and people yeah so Talking about spaces, what is important? What what do we need to know about, you know, the actual place where you're getting your makeup? Okay, so this is our time out. And that was part one of my Dusty Beauty chat with Miss Ivory Perkins of Ivory Perkins Beauty. Part two will be coming at you next week. 